first one we're going to dig into is meeting notes. Now, these are coming in through an email, but again, you can imagine this coming in from anywhere, Google Drive or whatever. And when the meeting notes come in, let me zoom in one moment. We're just going to grab one of the fields. Again, could be anything. And then the AI will take those and we have our wicked lame prompt here. But we will pull off structured output, as you see on the right, by using a built-in feature. Now look at this system message. That's a system message, by the way. But then we add this structured output. We added that by choosing the green box above, okay? Now we don't have the enable fallback model. That's cool, but let's focus on the structured output. And then we get this particular structured output parser. Now what's going to happen here is it, nothing would be there, obviously. I already did this. So let's move that and add this. And you'll have three options. One is one is depreciated. Good. We don't need to talk about that one. The item list parser is interesting. I never use it, but it could come in handy for tagging. I use this one. And then when you open it, you get generic. You get the generate, and then you get the more specific one. But I'm going to stick to the one I typically use. Now, did that go somewhere? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right to my right next to me. Okay. So now you'll see I made an object, and that object is what I wanted to output. And we have a title, and we have a TLDR, we have a copy, we have a who, and we have a follow-up. And then I tell it, hey, this is a string. And there's so many ways to do this. This has been working well for me. And then there's an array of strings, so you can go either way. And then I can auto-fix, which is really a neat addition that happened recently with NADN. And so now when it fails on the first time, if it does, which I'll talk about after, you could try again seamlessly. So let me remove the one I accidentally added. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. And then add the one that was here and connect it back to the model because that's what redoes the, that's what checks it if it fails. And so you'll seamlessly have it try again if it does fail.